Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Once again, we're continuing our turnaround series in which we pick a character to draw from different angles, thus creating a model sheet of that character. Last week, we drew Super Mario. This week, we're going to draw a turnaround of one of the most recognizable comic strip characters of all time, Snoopy. A couple of things about this one. First, Snoopy is another one of those characters that seems easy, not that many lines or details, but let me warn you, it's often these types of characters characters that are the most difficult. Why? Because there are no extraneous lines or details to distract the viewer if you haven't drawn those few lines just right. Secondly, this is the first time I'll be drawing Snoopy from that somewhat odd straight on view. It's not my favorite and I'm not alone. In fact, I suspect Peanuts creator Charles Schultz didn't really care for the way Snoopy looked from that straight on perspective either. Why do I say that? We'll go to an online search of Snoopy looking straight ahead. I guarantee you'll find very few examples of Schultz drawing Snoopy in that straight on angle. More more often than not, what he did instead was to draw the exact same head shape as Snoopy in profile and then simply move his eyes, nose, and mouth over to the one side of his face. Kind of like a flounder. Anyways, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow. Hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Okay, so let's draw our character turnaround of Snoopy. <laughs> We're going to draw our Snoopy turnaround step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. Snoopy is just over two heads tall. In other words, however tall his head is, his entire body is just over two of those. Okay, so let's draw the roadmap for our turnaround of Snoopy. So there's our roadmap for a Snoopy turnaround. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help you to know where to put some of Snoopy's features. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. So let's rough out the features in our Snoopy turnaround.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features of our Snoopy turnaround. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details in our Snoopy turnaround. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't press too hard or mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. So let's draw in the details for our Snoopy turnaround. And that's how you do it. There it is, our turnaround of the most successful, well-known comic strip character of all time, Snoopy. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Snoopy before, let alone a turnaround of him, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. As I'm sure you found out, he's a difficult character to draw, especially that head shape. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing the turnaround of Snoopy. And with that, you can draw him again and again. I promise each time you draw him, it'll be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step and what I call the level up cartooning process. So I'd love to see your turnaround drawing of Snoopy. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag level up cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing my friends.